from the 17th of October, we start in Leipzig in Germany. Leipzig is the uh, very famous Napoleonic battle was fought there, 1812. Bielefeld. Bielefeld is uh, exactly the venue is called Camp. I remember playing there before, and it's an old army camp uh, converted into a venue. Stuttgart, Munich. Munich was 72 Olympics, I don't know. After we went to Erlangen and Cologne. Oh, I'm so sorry. And in fact, we were there last month playing a festival. Amsterdam and Hamburg, two scenes and dens of iniquity, uh, which we enjoy in both ports. And then we go to Frankfurt. And then I guess this is it. And then we get into Switzerland. And this is when I'll be telling Andy and Pete a little bit more about the um, Hadron Accelerator. I'm going to fire one at the speed of light around one way and the, another one the other way at nearly the speed of light and then collide them. Once again, I'm pleased to be right in the thick of that. Um, of, you know, a very important world event. Um, I'm sure you all remember the, um, the incident last time with us when we were in. <laughs> we won't go into it uh, because of the problems we had. The magnets inside here are superconducting and are cooled by a huge cryogenic system and the cables conduct current without resistance in their superconducting state. Well, I have no idea what that means, uh, but it, is, it does sound pretty impressive. And um, again, a parallel with the lyrics of I Include. I have no idea what they mean, but they do sound pretty impressive. The beams are going to be stored at high energy for hours and during this time collisions take place inside the four main experimental chambers. Again, a little bit like I'm including the... In rehearsal, um, we, we, are, we are stored at high energy for hours, um, uh, each in our own separate chamber, and uh, communication and collisions then take place. Um, this is the, the creative recording process of I include. Very similar, the whole thing is quite weird. The, um, and again, here, here we go. The beams move around in the LHC ring inside a continuous vacuum guided by magnets. Well, the whole process of, of, of writing for me uh, involves the, the rest of the members and other people involved with the band keeping me inside a continuous vacuum guided by magnets. Uh, <laughs> the moon uh, being the principal magnet for me. One hour after starting up on the first attempt to send the beam circling all the way around the tunnel, it completed the trip successfully, bringing raucous applause. First of all, I didn't believe it, said Verena Kane, a European organisation for nuclear research engineer. I had to see it a second time, and I thought, wow, it actually worked. Verena here was, was able to see the uh, subatomic particle as it whizzed by near the speed of light. Uh, things can go wrong at any time. Now, this is, this is where it... We, I like to think, feel our tour um, and everything that we endeavour with Iron Clue. It's something similar to this incredible experiment. Um, I've, I've had re we've had reviews of the band that I've seen. I had to see it a second time and I thought, oh my God, it actually worked. Initially, this is the reaction you get. And here's another one. Very, so this experiment is throwing up very similar thoughts and feelings to the Iron Clue gig. Uh, another one. Things can go wrong at any time, but luckily this morning everything went smoothly. <laughs> We don't play much in the mornings, but I've got a fair idea what they're talking about there in, in the world of Clue. Um, um, obviously, there's a, there's a moment when we decide to go to, for breakfast, and I, I remember Andy actually saying that. Things can go wrong at any time, but luckily, this morning, everything went smoothly. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. The whole thing, of course, is underground. I don't know how far deep underground, but uh, yeah, it's not visible to the eye. Again, the, the parallels with Iron Clue are uh, there. Everyone knows it's there. It's massive, but nobody can see it. So we're in Switzerland then, from the 31st of October to the, um, the, the 8th of uh, November, when we rather wisely, I think, leave for Poland. We've not been to Poland before. A place called Katowice. And uh, I've gone to work at Katowice, sorry. Pronounced Katowice. It's a city in Silesia in southern Poland on the Klodnika and Rawa River. So right, it's in between two words. It's in the Highlands. In the mountains. Oh, here's some photos. Let's just have a look. A, a pretty modern city by the look of it. And after that, we'll be in Austria. Salzburg, Dornburn, Graz, and Vienna. Now, Graz, I remember going to Graz before because it's the, the, we collect the posters from our tours, and um, Graz actually is the best poster uh, somebody else did for Kick of Ours. Um, just black with an orange circle. The Orpheum in Graz. Very good. They're ringing for me now, and um, I'm going to go. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour and um, you'll come and see us. I know that I'm looking forward to seeing you, provided the Earth and all the universe is still here.